Hey, welcome back, guys. So, um, in this video, we're going to do a uh, review on the stuff that we've done so far and um, also uh, prep you for some of the stuff that's going to be happening soon. So, um, we got an old 2.3 windage tray here. So, um, you can see that's nice and dirty. But uh, this was actually about twice that bad. <laughs> it was like black. Um, the motor this came out of must have overheated or something, but the oil was just baked on there. But uh, spent some time in a parts washer with that, and um, I'll take a wire wheel to that. We'll get it down to where it looks like this, like that. So um, this still needs cleaned a little bit more, but uh, you get the idea. It almost almost looks ready to go, and um, we're gonna make sure everything's nice and clean. Now, all these parts started out the same. Um, spent some time in the parts washer with this and this, and. Um, then uh, used the um, Harbor Freight uh, Sonic Cleaner, and that really does a nice job with the heat. Uh, two or three cycles, and it gets almost all the all the all the baked on grease off and baked on oil and everything. So uh, we got our kit set up here, what we're working on, and we got our balance shaft removal kit. And um, there's a reason why uh, balance shafts initials is BS. That's the BS removal kit. So uh, in there's everything we need, all the drill bits, the taps and everything. And I'm going to share with you all the different sizes and everything that we use. So um, this is one of the, like a block plug kit. Pick this up at uh, AutoZone. There's the number. If you just frame that, there you go. And um, we're not going to use the half inch ones. We're just going to be using the three eighths and these little guys here, the eighth inch ones. So, um, so to review what we've got so far. We used a, a quarter inch, uh, quarter inch bit to draw a pilot hole to intersect with the oil passage in the back of the block. That is right down there. So we eyeballed that. We got that intersected. Of course, you don't want to go too high because this recess is deep, and you don't want to break through the casting. Um, on the low side, there's a recess, but it doesn't go quite that deep, and it actually tapers away from from uh, where we're drilling and the other thing you have to watch is on the inside of the block uh, you don't want to come out of the out of the casting on the inside of the block I actually did that one time with one of my motors and um, cleaned it up real good with some uh, some brake clean and then denatured alcohol took a torch and just heated that area to make sure there's no oil in there and then um, welded the block there so if you break through just a little bit there you can you can fix it that way but um, if it breaks through real hard uh, you will have to put a sleeve in here and have a 9 16 bit that I use for that so we drilled a quarter inch pilot hole then we drilled a half inch through hole and um, after that we drilled a half inch hole from here down to intersect with this with this hole so you just sight that down and you have to drill a little bit of an angle after that, we used a 9 16 uh, drill bit to tap it for a 3 8 um, pipe plug. And um, then this is the oil feed line for the block from where the balance shafts are. So uh, whenever the, you know, for the stock 2.4 oil pump, uh, this is where the, the uh, oil pump sends the, the oil. This goes over and over to the, the filter, it gets filtered, and then it's distributed through the motor. So we... Drill that out with a 9 16 bit. It's very close to that size already, but uh, we just drilled down uh, quite a ways. And uh, because that's at, at an angle, you have to really get the tap in there deep. Because uh, on the bottom side, <clears throat> you'll get it where it's at the top of the tap, and you'll still have a few threads left on this, this top side from the, where the tap's going down in. So uh, you got to get that in pretty deep, uh, basically till there's no more threads left and you're actually... Uh, kind of countersunk a little bit in there and then your your pipe plug will, will screw down in and it should set relatively flush I've done these a lot of times where they stand up a little bit that's okay so um, we'll show you how to how to take care of that later but uh, um, the other thing we have to do is this hole right here um, I believe this is the lubrication hole that lubricates the bearings on the uh, on the balance shafts so the oil goes through the motor, is filtered, and then it's fed back into the balance shaft assembly here to pressurize the bearing so it keeps the balance shafts from, from spinning a bearing. Um, now you see I have the machinist die here. So um, 
we're going to be drilling and tapping a couple more holes yet. So uh, this hole has to be tapped. Uh, we'll drill that out to the correct size and then tap that with a quarter inch pipe plug. Uh, or an eighth inch pipe plug, I'm sorry, an eighth inch pipe plug. This here, this is just a, a dummy hole. This goes nowhere. Um, uh, this hole here, this goes up to um, where the oil filter is, and that does have to be plugged and sealed. So we'll have to get a bolt with uh, the threads to fit that. We'll show you all that whenever the time comes. And we come to the to the time for our, we're almost ready for our windage tray. So we got to fit this up. So we got a windage tray here, and you can see I have a black line right here. Hope you can see that. Um, that part of the windage tray will have to be cut off to get this to set flat. I've seen guys uh, put um, uh, the, the old 2.3, um, you know, it's a bolt with a stud on top of it, put them on there, and that helps raise raise this up a little bit. But um, I, don't, I think they have to dent this down to get this to work, so I don't want to dent this down or anything. So what I always do is just cut this off the whole way across and it allows it to set it allows it to set like that flat on the block all right so with that said we got a couple holes back here and we're gonna have to drill and tap some holes up here so let's set this in there way the way it's gonna be so what we do is we line this up with this bolt hole like that and um, kind of get it straight and what I'm going to do is whenever I whenever I do this is sight down through these holes and get it lined up with the center with the center line of the crankshaft and um, you see it can, it can get on there kind of crooked so we don't want that so we want to get that on the center line you can just eyeball that uh, and then we're going to take a carbide scribe scribe around scribe around over here uh, pull this off center punch those holes and then we're going to drill them and tap them and as we get through this i'm going to show you all the different sizes that i'm using and everything or we showed you here this is a 3 8 pipe plug 3 8 pipe plug um that's about all we've done so far with that but um uh, this will be a uh, eighth inch pipe plug <clears throat> so um i mean you could use whatever size bolt that fits in there but because this is a metric motor I don't want to have to be switching back and forth between SAE and metric. So we're going to do all, all metric threads on everything. Now, if you remember, our oil pump actually bolts up to these two holes. So we won't have any trouble there. Um, all we have to do is just bolt that down. Uh, we got this countersunk in deep enough where it doesn't interfere with the rear main cap and the, um, the rear main seal carrier. So um, uh, the only other thing we'll have to do is... And we'll walk you through all this. Um, just a, a little heads up. I'm not going to be showing you all the all the different me doing all the different things. Uh, you know, if you're if you're taking on a job like this, I'm presuming that um, you have some mechanical knowledge and um, uh, you yeah you, know, you know your way around the tap and die set and uh, and you should be able to do this. You yeah you, know, you got to be able to weld or at least show this video to a machine shop and then they can they can do the work for you. So this will have to be shortened eventually. Um, we cut that off and bring it, bring it this way down, and uh, we'll clamp it, set it for height, and then we'll weld it up. We'll show you, show you how that's done and everything. And um, again, we'll show you the before and what it looks like before, and then what it looks like after. And then it's up to you to put the the, the process together. I tell you what I did, how I did it, and then you can do it. Now with the um, the oil pump pickup this is another another uh, thing we'll have to modify and there's a couple different ways of doing these conversions uh, one is to um, uh, leave this alone and you'd have a uh, spacer that's shaped like the um, the oil pan gasket or the bottom of the oil or the you know the oil pan mating surface here uh, you'd make it a spacer in there and that would bring the, the oil pan down enough where this would this would fit without modifying it another way to do it is to leave this alone and actually cut the bottom of the oil pan out and and weld the aluminum pan a lot of spacer on it and then you take that piece that you cut out and weld that on top so it makes it like a deeper sump um, and you can do that now the reason why i don't like those two methods is you lose ground clearance um, you know if, if you're if you're doing this for racing um 
you know, if you're on dirt track or whatnot, you know, you're going to have debris, you're going to have dirt, um, you know, tracks can be rough and the car can, can possibly bottom out and we don't want any, any damage to the, to the oil pan. So it's, um, just a longevity thing. So that's why I like to modify the pickup and I'm going to explain what I'm going to do to it. Let's see here. So what we're going to do, this is too tall. This will have to be ground down. We're going to show you all this whenever it's done. This will have to be ground down almost to where that bolt hole is. We'll take about a quarter of an inch off of that. And then um, we're going to take a Dremel tool and cut this tube straight off here. Straight off. The whole thing's going to come off. Okay. And then, let's put it back up here. We're going to move it down the thickness of the of the pickup tube we're going to move it down and i'm going to scribe where we're going to cut a window and we're going to cut a window out in this and then set that aside and then the, the problem we'd have then is your pickup is going to move from here to here so how do we seal this up very simple we're going to cut this back cut it up and right along this edge and remove this little piece right here right here where my finger is we're going to move that little piece and i'll make short videos to show you all this stuff we're going to do that on both sides and so basically this is just going to be a piece that's going to stick up and come right like this like, a, like basically just sheet tin up and over at that point we'll tack weld the the pump pickup tube in its lower position and then we're going to tap this down and bend this down and this is going to overlap, which will give this some, some more support. But um, we're going to bend that down. And instead of being up here, it's going to be bent down. It's going to come straight across this way. So you can imagine that's just like a little piece of strap right there. And once we cut that window out, we'll be able to fold that piece down. And then we're going to weld around it. And um, since I don't have a TIG, uh, we have to use a MIG. And uh, it usually takes about uh, three passes to get this thing to seal. So we'll, we'll weld it where it looks good. And then uh, we'll test it with some brake clean. And anywhere there's a leak, we'll make note of that. We'll go back and we'll weld that area again and uh, until we get it where, it's, where it doesn't leak anymore. And there's some stuff we got to do to the pump too. And uh, we're going to show you that. We have an old pump here. So on the pump, first thing we're going to do yeah, there goes some parts cleaning fluid that was in it. Okay, this is in the parts cleaner. We're going to cut that little wing off, and we're going to have to grind this down. This is where... Uh, let's see here. Where this would have to be right here. This would have to be ground down there. That's where that mounts right there. So we'll have to grind that down a little bit, make that flat. And then we're going to have to bevel these edges, this edge. And this edge over here. I'm not going to use this pump. We're going to use a new one. But uh, we can use this one to show you. And once that's done, we'll show you what that looks like. We're going to show you all the different things. Okay. And then we'll have to uh, modify the uh, oil or the um, the oil pan. Yeah, we'll have to modify the oil pan. So that um, we'll show you. We just take a uh, like a flapper wheel and a grinder and. Uh, we go over it and um, we're going to clearance the, the back and there's some pieces inside that have to be cut out. And um, after that, it has to be completely cleaned because we're going to have everything mocked up. Everything will be mocked up. The motor won't be together yet, but we'll have the pump and everything mocked up. And then um, if there's any other things that, that crop up, we can we can take care of that before we you know have the cranking rods and everything in. But... Um, uh, we'll mark everything up, we'll set the oil pan down, and we're going to use some machinist die where you set it down and kind of move the pan around, get it down on these locating dowels, and um, anywhere where it shows a little shiny spot, we can we can grind on the inside of the pan a little bit. And uh, I will tell you, on the back of the pan, right back here, on there's there's a a bolt boss like a relief in the pan where where uh, you can get an extension in to, to tighten the bolts up in the back of the pan. Um, you get a grind on them. It feels like you're going to grind through them, but there's those are some thickness there, so you won't have any trouble. So uh, anyway, these are the next steps, and um, next time you see this, we'll have our um, 
or one inch tray cut uh, we're going to tap and uh, drill and tap this and we'll have our holes drawn drilled and tapped here and uh, again we'll, we'll we're going to review everything as we go so we'll give you a little short little little snapshots as we go reviewing everything um, if you like what you see here go ahead and hit the uh, like and subscribe right over there see you next time guys